and welcome to The Doe Show for Monday, March 19th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous. And we have another really full episode tonight because we have so much drag that we saw over the weekend. Uh, let's get into it with Thursday. Let's do it. We are at the McEwen Pride Week Drag Show, mm -hmm. hosted by Nadine Hunt. Yeah, a local comedian. Uh, she did a great job. Uh, raised a hell of a lot of money, I think $1,000, with her little gimmick about getting her shirt ripped at the end. So, uh, yeah, fabulous job. And, and uh, we had a really good time at the show. Yeah. Uh, We're going to rattle off some performers that went on the stage. Uh, Ferris, do you want to take the first one? Um, well, one of my favorites was JBR. Uh, you know I love you, girl, all the time. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> did the knee drop and totally hurt himself. And, and like there was blood on the tights, and at least they weren't his tights. But, um, but yeah, I, you, are, you are going to break your leg one of these days. But anyway, I, I won't rant every week about JBR's knees. Uh, but yeah, JBR was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and the other one was uh, Vanity did uh, Turn Me On The Radio, which uh, I've seen her do a couple of times. But every time is fantastic. And like her hair is just, ugh, ugh. Anyway, love you, Vanity, and yeah, it was a good show. Good show. Yeah. What about you? What uh, what were some of your favorites? Uh, Dixon Cunts was mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Cow? The Count. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's where you bleep out every second mm -hmm. word, it feels like. But it was a really good number, really fun. So well done. And uh, shout out to Indigo, who mm. did a uh, hoedown throwdown. And the audience, the, the really audience was song. living for it. The audience was absolutely living they, for it. Yeah, they yeah. knew the song. There was, there was a whole bunch it. of the straight girls that were mouthing every word along with it. But Shout out to Indigo. But yeah, that was a really fun show. That was just the start of our weekend. On Friday, I got to go see Ben de la Creme um, at Evolution Wonder Lounge. And it was supposed to be um, Trinity the Tuck Taylor, and then it ended up being Latrice Royale. And then because of issues, it became Ben de la Creme. And she showed up... Uh, on last day's notice after being on tour for a couple of weeks and uh, put on just a fabulous show uh, and just a sweetheart just as uh, eternally delightful or whatever it is like truly terminally delightful. terminally delightful um, it's such a good such a good show and and all the local queens absolutely brought it um, Ben's burlesque number we had seen it once before and then we also had seen part of it on RuPaul this year but it was so nice to see it up close and like it was just amazing. She just absolutely nailed it. Um, local queens that I thought were fabulous. Um, Godiva was a late, last minute ad, uh, but she just, oh, she did a wonderful Bernadette Peters number, uh, Making Love Alone, which was just absolutely wonderful. Just this mix of Broadway and camp and yes, mm -hmm. uh, Godiva. And the other the other one that stood out for me was uh, Lady Tenderflake did a divine number where she was grabbing men from the audience and, oh. and stuff like that. So that was really fun too. Um, were there any videos that stood out for you? Uh, um, you know, I really enjoyed Yada Yada out of Book Ahead. Yes. And um, you know, I think she's new to her channel. She so. is. Uh, from Regina, uh, friends with um, a few other queens that have recently come and have been enjoying yes. the Edmonton drag scene, and they're they're all wanting to come and take a bite. So, so definitely welcome to the channel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I, I spoke to you that night and, and said how how much I had enjoyed your performance. So, welcome to the channel. And then on Sunday we went to the Sunday review, mm -hmm. which was an imperial review, brought to you by the Imperial Sovereign Court to the Wild Rose. Yeah, and it was hosted by Vanity Fair mm -hmm. and Tequila Von Mockingbird. Von Mockingbird! <laughs> <laughs> Just make it extra fancy. Yes, her and Hula. <laughs> and then um, they had a fabulous closing number. They yeah. Were, Romeo was the name of it, and it was featuring most of the entire cast of the mm -hmm. show. Um, I was living for the Billy Ray Cunts look. <laughs> Yeah, I, as I said to you, Dixon, that was, that was, yeah. well, I, I'm so worried about saying fabulous, but it really was. It was, it was fantastic. <laughs> no, it was, it was great. Yeah. And another one that we really enjoyed was Lady T, No mm -hmm. Roots, um, with the bottles on the head and 
we were making a joke with somebody about like, oh, what if you opened up one of the bottles and all the pills kind of right. spilled out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need one. I need one. Uh, yeah, uh, some of the ones that stood out for me was, um, I'm a Bjork mark, so uh, as soon as uh, I Miss You started uh, for Davina, I, I, I was already sold. And it was quirky, it was fun, it was campy, it was, the look was amazingly cool. I, I loved it. So, uh, as I said to you last night, I would, I would love to see, to see more Davina Bjork works because I uh, they seem to work well together um, the other one that I uh, really want to talk about was was Trey Leparc trash our emperor uh, who did an amazing version of uh, zombies um, which I had never heard before and I guess it was recorded the day that Dolores died and she had been supposed to have been recording with them and everything so like there's a whole haunting past to the song and everything too but anyway it was a beautiful song choice it was powerfully done. Uh, I thought it was one of the highlights of the night, definitely. Anyway, we should talk about what's going on. We on should. The we should. Events. That was that was the past. You can find those videos on our Dragging Our Heels channel, obviously. So uh, when you're done watching this one, feel free to check out any of those. But this next weekend. It's even crazier than the last couple of weekends. I don't know how we do it, but there's like every week there's like four shows. <laughs> so so yeah, this weekend this weekend is is beyond crazy. So um, Friday it and, begins, <laughs> and the second preliminary mm -hmm. round, I believe. Um, it's just a few that Pheromone Kills, yeah. and Cheryl Trade, mm -hmm. Cupcake, Lourdes, mm -hmm. Sapphire, and many others. Uh, GG Ivy League. Um, and I think that's seven, and I thought there was eight, but, uh, there were seven. anybody worth something. Yeah, there, I think there was only seven listed on the page. But, there was also a surprise last time, and then we had a hint Ooh. that there might be a surprise or two this time, too. So, seven may not be all we see, so, uh, cool. you should be there with us on Friday to find out. Doors open at nine, show is at ten, five dollar cover. But again, you can say one of the Queen's names at the door to yep. get free cover, as always. Exactly. So we're going to be there. It'll be a fantastic show. So yeah. make sure you look, uh, look for us there. Uh, Saturday. Saturday. I should talk about Saturday because uh, it's going to be an absolutely crazy day. I have an entire day full of drag for you. Um, at the Unitarian Church of Edmonton, uh, there is a drag queen rummage sale from 2 to 5, put on in part with the Dragon Youth series. Um, it's uh, all money is going to be raised towards charity and everything. If you are interested in booking a table, you can find that event on Facebook. Um, but yes, it's going to be a, a great time. Once you are already there, buying some new to you drag, oh, yeah. um, stick around for the Dragging Easter, a church lady extravaganza. It's the monthly Dragging Youth series show. Uh, this month is hosted by Lady uh, Tenderflake and the church lady herself, Lola Lamour, with some help by uh, amateur young amateur performer, queen amateur queen, of the Trixie Sticks. Different. Um, and that is uh, doors at five, shows at six, and it's only a five dollar contribution. Then head with us to Evo for uh, the doors opening at eight o'clock, show at nine for another five dollars for the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Roses halftime show. Um, from Rain 42, Emperor and Empress um, Trailer Park Trash and Can You Do It are hosting. Absolutely. Um, and uh, all monies, of course, will be going to the charities of Rain 42, the Pride Center, and the Elizabeth Fry Society. So that is all happening on Saturday night. And there might even be more. I seem to think that there might be a Hail Mary show oh, going cool. on. And I think Sky's filming there as well. Um, so yeah, there's wow. there's a lot going on this weekend. So uh, please and feel free to check that out. And we're not even at Sunday. We're not even at Sunday. Why don't you talk about what's, what's on, on Sunday, Sunday at Evolution? At Evolution, there's the Glamazon Sunday Review, hosted by Pheromone Kills, and features Melinda Verga, Roselle Christina, Science Fair, and... Not Science. Not Science, sorry. Debut of Lesbianist. Lesbianist. 
and I'm crushed that I'm not going to be there personally to actually see the debut hun uh, but I am excited to say that uh, our doughboy Braden will be there uh, with Sky I think I think they're both gonna maybe be there to, to film so uh, we won't be there to see it but we will be able to watch it on dragging our heels yes on Sunday we're not we gonna be not there because because we will be at another Anne's event. It is the Calgary preliminary round for the Alberta mm -hmm. Drag Superstar competition, hosted by Terry Stevens. Oh yeah, it'll be at Twisted Element, of yep. course. And uh, hosted by Terry Stevens has. Oh, uh, uh, well, there's, there's quite a few. For. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's quite a few. There's quite a few that uh, I'm excited about. There's a bunch of people that I've never seen before, so I'm excited about yes. a seeing them for the first time and and getting uh, some of their performances for our channel. Um, but the ones that I have had the chance to see perform before that I'm excited to see return are Moby Dick, who is fabulous. Uh, Penny Tense, Electrocute is always great. Um, I had heard a rumor originally that Felicia Bonet was in the thing, mm, yes. but I just, when I was looking at the event, didn't see Felicia Bonet still listed yeah. in the I so, hope Felicia so is So, if it. she is, she's definitely one to contend with, so mm -hmm. I, I, I hope to see her out anyway. Um, one of my personal favorites, I'm still, I'm still chuffed that uh, they didn't get in last year, so I'm hoping this year that they're in the top three. Uh, Justice for Duke, Duke Carson. Come on, you got this. And uh, one of your favorites is also going to be there. Uh, yeah. Someone who competed last year yeah. made it to the finale with um, Stephanie Prince. I'm really excited for Stephanie this year. Hopefully. Exactly. You know, she's going to bring it. I know she will because she always does. Exactly. And last year she admitted that she was brand new, really. So uh, she's had another whole year to, to learn her craft. So I can't wait to see what she brings this year. Yeah. But that is everything that's happening that we know of for dragging our heels <laughs> for this weekend <laughs> for this week so um as always thank you so much for watching thank you for watching um if you are watching this anywhere in edmonton or not try to get out there and watch some local drag support your yeah. local drag queens life is not just about rupaul's drag queens as much as we all love the show anyway that's anyway. really all i've got to say about it uh thanks Bye. Bye.